needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. So how many people, what percentage stay together for the kids? Or because they don't want to give away half their shit. Another 10%? That's conservative. Conservative. But let's say, let's say 20% then. Okay? That's, that's at least right. You now have a technology that fails 76% of the time. That's insane. You name one goddamn good thing that's come out of the hip-hop culture. I'll wait. Is it the enormous amount of uh, people that have gone to prison trying to live that bullshit lifestyle y'all rap about? Your podcast is in the house. Back at it again. Remember, hold on, wait. We represent Philly. Mm-hmm. Getting that Philly. Those are Dark Gable, CJ, and over here in the cut. You got T. We got T. You no know, face you, no trace tonight. She yeah. no face yeah. no trace. You, you know T the shit started. That's my name. So, oh, okay. Lord. Are you the 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 brewed sweet tea, or are you the <laughs> you know the imported? Like brisk sweet tea. Yeah. She said, I'm brisk, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's good, people. Yeah, I mean, listen, as you come in, make sure you hit that like button. Like. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe, subscribe. button. Subscribe. You know what I mean? As again, welcome to Distro on Podcast. We got a we got a good show for y'all tonight, as usual. Yeah, you know I mean, we got the viral videos to react to. Sit back, enjoy the show, have a few laughs or two with us. But before we get started. We need for you to hit that like button. Like, hit, hit that, that like. subscribe button. Hey, my man, man, we we definitely appreciate the comments. We definitely try to uh, interact with our mm-hmm. with our folks. So, you know, keep them coming because we we definitely yeah. love the interaction. Yeah, you know, we're about that silliness. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. with y'all in the comments tonight. You was on the comments tonight. Who want the internet thug with me tonight? Yes. Listen, y'all heard the woman <laughs> thugging. This Black History Month. Oh, wait, I, gotta, I gotta pour me a sip before we get started. <laughs> I pour. Really? I don't even drink pour, this. Bro. I got. I got. I got. Pour me a shot. I'm neither one of y'all. The mother is talking. Uh, make sure you got. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you were sipping. Yeah. Not but, at all. Hey, we asked her. I didn't had, even realize. We asked her. Asked, has she ever drank alcohol? She said she ain't need alcohol to get started. Ooh, she said she raw diggity with it, like Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Let's get it started. Let's no, but I've always started. been like a real calm. You know, same thing that girl said on "Don't Be a Menace." You know, yep. when I drink, I get a little crazy. Well, shut up. Mm-hmm. Oh, Maybe man. that's why I don't drink. At the church, say amen. Ooh. Listen, last week, Ooh. last <laughs> week, if you catch the videos, we said titty moles and dicky moles. <laughs> don't start it again this week, young well, lady. <laughs> I'm on my best behavior. Mm. Hey, listen, y'all. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers, man. We are growing fast, we man. We want to thank y'all. We, we appreciate, appreciate the love. Y'all. Definitely. Yep. Our organic following. We appreciate y'all. No bots. No none of that stuff. Man, we love it, man. Yep. We love it. You know, uh, should we wait for more people to come in or should we just get this thing here? Cracking? I mean, what you want? What you want, you want to wait for the people? No, you want to give them a couple you minutes? Just... You know what? T, how was your day? My day was productive. It was it was a little long, but I mean, right. hey, it was it was a typical HR day. Right. Did you have to fire nobody? No, 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 not today. Today was a oh, day, so today was the day where we onboarded people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had a boring day. No, it's just always it like just hectic ma- and convoluted on Orient. Presented it three right. weeks from now when they late. <laughs> it's be a firing day <laughs> when they stealing gift cards to get lunch out the uh, yeah. cafeteria. Got, listen, a good HR day for me. Hey, listen, I'm going to need you to come in my office. I need to have a talk with you. Listen. We noticed that you've been looking at porn on your, on your computer lately. <laughs> CJ, bro, how was your day, Doc? My day was long. Uh, at my place of uh, work, we have some uh, what they call organizational changes going on. Oh, shit. That sounds like some rehiring or I mean, A lot of MFers got fired. <laughs> I'm sorry. A lot of MFers left. Or they resigned. Okay. Yeah, the big uh, the big boss from New York had to come down. So, uh, oh, he had to come down. Set set. Serious like, oh, issues so. going on over yeah. there. We had to huddle up. Like <laughs> it, that was the kind of day. It, it was the. It felt like Monday, even though it was Tuesday. Well, yeah. well you know, my we, we moved to a new office. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you know, you know, I went down there and um. Change is always good. Always good, man. I love it, man. I mean, th- 
the newness. Yeah, a little fresh air, fresh yeah. start. Yeah. Newness. You know what I mean? I love seeing new white people. people. Some, some, some oh. I love seeing new white people, especially on the elevator. They be like, now, what is this black guy doing here? Hey, uh, excuse me. You're supposed to take the maintenance elevator. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to plead the fifth on the grounds that I will not incriminate myself in the Constitution of the United States. Hey, there, buddy. You're supposed to take the maintenance elevator. You ain't supposed to be on this elevator. Not during Black History Month, sir. <laughs> Unless you want to be oh, smacked. Man. Oh. Let's get my clicker, man. I got this thing here started, man. Let's get to the first video, y'all. Let's go. And the very first video of the evening. We got a 30-year-old woman says that she... Left her boyfriend oh God. to move back in with the parents and scoop ice cream after eight years. Let me rephrase that because that's giving, mm -hmm. that's giving bum. <laughs> we got a 30 year old woman says she left her boyfriend to move in with her parents and scoop ice cream. Bum, bum, that's what bum, I'm about bum, to go bum. do. You know, you need to stop. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's this jump podcast. Oh, yeah. let's go. Hello, now let's go. I'm JC. I'm 30 years old and I too am starting over. I was in an eight year long relationship where we had a house, okay. a dog, a white picket fence, but I decided that I didn't want to get married and have kids. So I left that relationship Shut and moved back up. in with my parents. She did all that. I was that. also working Why? a corporate job, she ain't moving you know, back 40 in with hours me. a week, a nice salaried position. But I decided that I didn't want to work behind a computer for the rest of my life. So I moved to Los Angeles and now I scoop ice cream for a living. I'm also mm. pursuing social media on the side, uh, but I'm a 30 year old ice cream yeah. scooper. I got questions. I've had failed relationships. I no, struggle with she my should be having a goddamn question. Minimum wage job. And it does get lonely sometimes, especially feeling like you're behind in life, seeing your friends get married, you have are kids behind. and progressing in their careers. But I personally have never felt more fulfilled than by starting over because I get to wake up and feel passionate about what I do every single day. Okay. Can I? Can I? Yeah. You know, so you know, how are you passionate about yeah. scooping ice cream? Hold on now. Hold on. Let's no, let's give how, one, you let's know, give one of God's creatures some grace. Okay. okay. You said you had questions. We're gonna let's see, bro. Let, 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 First let, of let's all, your question, bro. Number one, I'm mad that her name is the the reverse of mine. Her name was JC. I'm CJ. I just <laughs> I'm mad that her name is anyway. Mm -hmm. So here's my question. That's your sister. Hell no. And even if she was, <laughs> I wouldn't. I would definitely disown her. That's number one. Number two. Okay, he was in an eight year relationship. That means you was in there at 22. We ain't know what the hell you was doing. Okay, cool. Here's my question. She's, she's learning herself. So that decision for her to leave the relationship if she was not happy. Okay, fine. Wait, yeah. Dude, I mean, you can master being learning. Here's the question. CJ. Here's the question. <laughs> what the hell is so passionate about scooping some damn ice cream that you could go to the supermarket and get every day? Right. Why did you have to move the... She's at Los, Los, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. LA from wherever she was at. First of all... To, to go First of all, I'm mad at her parents that they allowed her to move back in their house because she would not be in my house. Part where I give her the grace because if it, I never want my kids to feel like they can't follow their passions. So that's that's why what my question is is what is so passionate what is so about? Because again, maybe she might be the ice. She might be making her own ice cream. So no, nah, I don't think so, man. I think her ad social media on the side. That's what I'm okay. saying. So ice cream doing social media, and she ain't making no bread right now. So oh my god, it, 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 uh, is she Gen Z? She might be on the cusp here yeah. because I believe that Gen Z think that social media their ticket to oh my god, you know, stardom. Mm. You know, if you're going to pursue social media, you definitely should have a job as your number one. Social media should be something that that you just want to do passionately. To, Unless she's going to create some kind of marketing company. Now, yeah, then that's something totally different. But like, if the job was providing her a stable income where she could live that she could live off of instead of living with her parents right. she was in an eight-year relationship stable that one man. i can pass on okay if, if the relationship is not fulfilling for you that's okay for her to move on to something else it's okay for her to leave the relationship but that the, shows the, her the right her, picket fence but also at the man, same time that's consistency man, but no, it shows that she was she's young. erratic y'all both wrong she, the she girl is erratic i'm being too nice we gonna no. call it what it is black history mom that's white privilege <laughs> her white privilege ass <laughs> Leave a salary job and I can go home and scoop ice cream. That's white privilege. Get up out of my damn face with that. Hey, okay? Because I mean, there's no reason. Shaniqua, Shaniqua could never do that. Okay? No. Shaniqua mm -hmm. could never le leave her job making $25 an hour to go scoop some goddamn ice cream. White privilege. It's black. Now, I don't want to hear that. Say right now. 
If my daughter come to me talking about your dad, I, I quit my job. Well, I don't know you where you're going to You think Mama Shaniqua going to live? But they right. going to be mom. You going to let Shaniqua back in? You done quit this damn government job? <laughs> <laughs> Scoop some ice cream that I got in the freezer that's freezer burnt? Girl, you better get out my damn face. Nah, <laughs> nah, I'm going to tell you. I'm a, White privilege. I believe that she regret her mistakes that she made and she getting up on this internet Acting like life is good. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Acting like life is good. I First believe that, of all, that, why, that's why all do that. everybody have to turn to social media? And that's head. what these young people like, do. The because the they turn to the internet. Because mental health what is something. What kind of validation is she going to get? Because mental health is, is something that we, we don't country. These people, this is that, that social media. If you ever watch the social media experiment on Netflix, you can see it is it's an addiction. Like crack, like alcohol, like vagina. It's all an addiction. <laughs> that's another episode. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, that people be addicted to that dopamine of, oh, I it, can put it, this it, on it here. Is, it is a dopamine. And as we can sit here and see how many people are tuning in and, and, and sending messages the same way we can see that, they can see that, too. So they like, oh, I done got 300 people to look at me and say some, and comment you on know, some yeah. wild stuff. And now, look, I'm, I'm famous. So that's what it. That's what it be. It's, just, it's, it's weird. Nobody cares about your ice cream scooping. She, and the thing about it is you could tell that. It obviously ain't that great of a thing because she ain't tell us what it was. She ain't say, yeah, because I, I screwed ice cream. Because she could have told us, so you know what? Come see me. Right. Come support Tracy. my ice cream scoop. Yep, yeah, come come get this ice cream. I'm, I'm doing social <laughs> media on the side. This is my page. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, in about two months from now, she's going to be talking about, yeah, I need you to scoop this ice I cream this, on OnlyFans. I need to get you up. I need to subscribe <laughs> to my OnlyFans. I'm scooping this ice cream yeah. on She's going to have that cherry on top. Scoop, that's look me up. Well, I don't know about no dag on social media rehab. These people, it's just like everybody just loves the, the attention. Listen, I don't think man. that it's going to go away now these days, especially now that life has evolved down these days around social media. Everything is mm-hmm, social media mm-hmm. now. My man Uber in the building. Ooh, what's up, man? Yeah, I mean, what's up? Ooh, let me, let me pop this. Can I pop it out? There we go. There we go. Can you still see the chat? Not really. I see it on here. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, I mean, what's good, who? How you making out, broski? Yeah, they, they, I, I, I believe that too. Social media rehab. Somebody about to start that in LA, and they are gonna make a killing. Oh, right. are you serious? I'm, I, I believe it. Like, Ubu, go ahead. You go do it now before they do. Right. Cause you the one that yeah, just Ubu, said it. Right. <laughs> right. Man, we looking for at least hey. like five to ten yes. percent, man. Straight negotiable. Yep. This your podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Yeah, I mean, let's slide to that video number. Two. Yeah, hold on, hold on, wait before we get started, man. I got take a little I sip got, of the my shit. Um, <laughs> as I said before, that and I you gotta know sip I mean? of some water. Extra my boring. Water. <laughs> you might as well go to the library. Yeah, here we, as I said before, you know, I mean, my peanut had bought me this. Nice. Right here. Shout out to peanut. peanut. Eagles green. Eagle green. That's on top. <laughs> hold on, baseball season is about to kick off. So you know, I gotta wear the Phillies hat. You know what I mean? Shout out to the Phillies. I, I know you're a big fan of the Phillies, right? Hell no. Damn, where are you from? <laughs> I don't like baseball. Oh, so you don't what? like baseball? Still uh, yeah, for the home so team. first of all, I Why do not? support the home team, like but I, I said I support them. That means you like them. You don't so support stuff you my, don't like. My Say, this thing is, is right the Sixers or Eagles. I, and well, not the Phillies. F- f- football is first for me. I mean, that's my first thing. The that's Eagles like, are trash. Yeah, but it's, it's the that. home team. But I just said that about I'm the Phillies. In, ter- in terms Why? of the sport. In terms of the sport, if I had to rank them, it would be football first for me, then basketball, then baseball. Have Have you ever dated a football player? No, I used to play football. Wait, you used to play football? Yeah. Get the where at right? it in the lingerie league? <laughs> oh shit! I'm just asking. First of all, Top, let us know that. <laughs> let me, yeah, yeah, sweet yeah. tea yeah. in the ladies' lingerie yeah. lingerie oh league. <laughs> yeah, she got that G string. <laughs> hey, I'm not revealing what I wear. See, I if you see her in the LFL, <laughs> you, you need a sports bra. I don't right. need no goddamn bra. Right, exactly. <laughs> if, what I'm thinking. If we just, if we see right? the views go up exponentially next <laughs> week, <laughs> we know what you what they what they saw. Thank nah, you. God damn. <laughs> you know, I remember me and my man, we, we went to the club. And uh, this one, I was playing arena ball. We went to the club. And it was a few players from the... It wasn't the lingerie league back then. It was like a, a football league for like the, yeah, the female, the indoor female. Short, short. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I, I met a couple of them. And I'm like, you know, we talking and shit like that. And I'm looking like, God damn. Wow. Oh, well, you give me that look up and down. And so <laughs> what was their response? <laughs> huh? What was their response? I'm curious. 
Oh, I wasn't listening to what the fuck they were saying. <laughs> First of all, what was their face saying? Because I know me, my facial expression is going to talk before my mouth do. If you ain't talking about, oh, so where we going from here? I'm blocking all the rest of that shit out. Oh, damn. Hey, if I don't hear where we going from here. They called him straight shooter. Yeah. Well, I am not honeybee. I said I'm honey dip. Make sure you clear. It's honey dip. Yeah, I mean, honey dip. Oh, oh, it's in the building. I'm in class with my man El Plaga. Hey, welcome. Yeah. Then we're going to get some class with my man Ubu. You know Shout out. Man? Get some class with my man Ubu up in the building. There we go. God damn. There we go. We appreciate the love. Yeah. Right? That's right. It, it's because of, it's because of those guys. It's the reason why this joint is growing. Exactly. We love y'all. Yeah, I mean. So we slide to video number yep. two. Number two, let's go. All right. Oh. Video number two. After 51, 51 years of marriage, this judge learns that his children aren't his. <laughs> I, you, you know what? And, but you know what? Oh, let's, oh, let's go. It's Fish Drum Podcast. Aww. Let's go. I have been married for 51 years. Got two sons, 42 and 40. Them deadbeats. I'm still supporting the little boogers. Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. <laughs> of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. Instead, they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman. Or Yeah, they were milkmen back when they came around. I mean, God only knows. It sure gets old. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. And they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. But if I could figure out who they were, I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I could sue their ass and get all my money back that I sunk into those two dead beats. It just chaps my ass that she couldn't tell me. I'd probably forgiven her. Maybe not. You know how it is. Hell, boys, y'all need to go get your own paternity test. You can't tell how, by looking who's the daddy unless you're looking down at the genetic level. I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits and four out of five times guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. And the genetic test is the only way to prove it for sure. These women are hopping everything that looks fun. You thought you liked sex. <laughs> you ain't nothing. Well, I, I guess that pretty well completes that story. I'll go home, start drafting up some divorce papers, see if I can't get free of that crazy bitch. I mean, I stayed with her for the sake of the children and the grandchildren, and now the great-grandchildren. But they ain't no kin of mine. Fuck them. You know, I I, I, I want to say this. I want to say this. All right, Agatha, you're the judge. Now, this, now this may be karma because I'm sure he probably said, "Well, guess what? 
I know it ain't your child, but you're going to pay for it anyway. Mm. Child support, nullified. You got to pay, God damn it. Child support? <laughs> right. mm. That is fucked. Wow. That is fucked. After 51 years, like, she lived with that of, shit. Like I said, anybody that I know that's a male and they've already had like some kind of inclination that, wait a minute, that child ain't mine. Agatha. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure he had the same idea somewhere along the line, not just now, and they forced. 42 years old nor did he- what you're saying is that in the back of his mind he knew that those two boys wasn't his it but he sounds chose, like he, he was with his career sad okay. to say Damn, we just jump into conclusions on man <laughs> because he said it he said he wasn't home the wife was doing whatever with whoever he he said it that she she had multiple people so at some point he had to have known she was fucking cheating agatha edith costanza so i guess with him because he's a judge and he's like you know when you going when you going to law school that takes a lot of time that's a lot of years so he was focused sad to say that he this is how he paid See, for fellas, it that's why you just be a bum okay this is the reason why we are bums today not we because i'm not me but this is why there are bums out there because you go out there you work hard you make it all the way to judge and you find out that your two goddamn kids is not even yours because agatha was out there slinging that cat at the cotton club down there with red fox in there so now see what i'm saying just be a bum that situation fact, does not steadman. apply to everybody don't be a bum be steadman Okay, get you an Oprah. Don't, don't say shit. Don't, don't, don't be all in the camera dancing. Just be in the background. Be like Stem and live a good life, okay? First of all, get you some Viagra, choose, some libido choose pill. Real, choose a real woman and you won't have that problem. Mm-mm. We can't How tell. About that? We can't tell. 42 years. But and, well, she wasn't no real woman. <clears throat> but let me, I mean, yes, how, I mean, how could you. Ain't no way in hell you can't tell like when that. somebody. <laughs> because sometimes, you know. A lot of times, I guess people just settle in life. It's like okay with him. It's like okay. But how do you? You can feel it. Ooh, you can tell. But how when, do you really you can know? Tell when your partner is cheating. You can tell, I mean, can you really tell? No, I, no, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I can't speak for your males. So you know how they call it women's intu- intuition. I know majority of the women that I know. Men are cheating, but they don't know when they're bums. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm just saying, if it's intuition, you only well, get they, intu- listen, women, they only get cheating intuition. Listen, they don't listen, get bum intuition. Listen, <laughs> women. First of all, I don't. Men are cheating because of women intuition, but they never know when a man is unhappy or a bum. <laughs> oh, give me that right there, bro. Take the sweat off. <laughs> it's smack both of y'all. <laughs> we on fire tonight. Toe, please. Oh, but I mean, as I feel for him, but I don't feel for him. Because you cannot tell me, man, after 51 years of marriage, you don't know when this woman stepped out on you yeah, he or, or even oh, had yeah, that had do. that feeling like, I think someone stretched your coochie. This is my thing, though. I'm going I'm to play devil's advocate for Paul. In today's generation, where the, the new newer generation is like, oh, yeah, you did one thing. I'm out. And so they all, they try to compl- they try to say like this new generation they give up too easy. Yeah, so I believe that. For him, he's probably where even if she did step out, you know that they from that generation will work it out. Now yeah. again, I'm not saying that you should keep a woman that had kids by another man. Ooh. So he could have been like, you know what, you you stepped out. All right, cool. And again, DNA and all that wasn't a thing back 40 years ago. So they ain't, he probably ain't really was checking for that. So, yeah, but at some point, your one of your children or if. Both of your children got to have something, not necessarily everything like you, but something is going to be like, oh, OK, yeah, they take after me. OK, oh, yeah. You know what? I used to do that when I was young at some point. But, they, but these two kids and there's nothing like, <laughs> come on, really? Like, like no trace. Nothing. Here. They might have had that. He How? Because he, he, he said he Listen, did that part of my, I need to lie on both my son. look like me. They don't oh, ask. Oh, come on, you got to learn because that ain't me. <laughs> Here it is. Look, the fucking pool boy is a man dingo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't him. <laughs> right, but, you know, I, I want to ask because, you know, I can't ask you this. But, CJ, as a man, what would you do, dog, if you found out that both <laughs> your children aren't yours after 51 years? I am going to Agatha and say listen here you dirty bitch <laughs> you knew this the whole time well guess what from here on out I'm gonna keep you on a life insurance cause mm. when you die I'm getting I'm getting some I'm getting paid for this but for now don't ask me a goddamn thing okay I'm uh, going down there to that place uh, they, they, I heard it's in Atlanta it's called Magic City oh. okay I'm going down there 
to get my back rubbed and my balls tugged. <laughs> I don't want to hear a goddamn word from you. Okay, and I heard and something called the freak Nick Flex. Are you gonna tell her to? We'll, we'll see what? if we can you recreate gotta, that. You and he go said live, he ain't shaving. You gotta shaving, go live in the guest house. Guest house. That's what I, no, you can have a main house, <laughs> but I'm gonna bring a lot of guests <laughs> up in this main house. <laughs> listen, listen. I, I believe what what U said. I think he knew, but was in denial. Yeah, he he knew. He knew. He knew. I don't know, Paul. But, but, were, I'm, about to, I'm about to ask a woman here. Why do some women cheat and then still stay with the man after they cheated? Probably for the benefit. Yeah, that's most of the time what it is. Yeah, the that's most of the time what it is. Because hey. it's like, okay, if she's staying with him, it's for number one, whatever benefits, financial or whatever that she's getting, and the security. The security mm, yeah, of she, knowing that, okay. okay, you know what, he's a good man or whatever, but he's just, he checks off all my boxes, but just the one physically. But, dro but dropping yeah. dick off Danny. Wait, or, that's what I'm just he saying. Give a, he only so, give, give a 15 strokes. Right. <laughs> he, he dropping that dick off. <laughs> Woo. Uh, all right. That's okay. why. That's why. Yes. Okay, this your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Let me, let me see here. Here we go, sir. We're gonna slide to the next video. We have we have, we have video number three. Let me see video number three. Can I get the thing? Is that? here we go. Video number three. We got a divorce attorney that speaks his mind on uh -oh. why people shouldn't get married. Uh oh, it's about to oh, get real tense boy. in here. Yes, it is. Right here, yeah, boy. I, we need like a little siren. Hold on, CJ and, and Lowe's about it's to need an ambulance by the time we done. Is that threats? Oh. Look, Let's I don't go. issue threats. Yeah, I you issue bring it down Fifty-six percent of marriages end in divorce. Like, think about that's the ones that end in divorce. So, how many people? What percentage stay together for the kids? Or because they don't want to give away half their shit. Another ten mm. percent. That's conservative. Conservative. But let's say let's say twenty percent. Then okay. That's, that's at least conservative. You now have a technology that fails seventy-six percent of the time. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. That's more likely than not. 76. If I told you there's a 76% chance when you walk out the door today, you're going to get hit in the head with a bowling ball, <laughs> you would not go out or you'd wear a helmet for sure. But people just continue to get married. Not I'm only curious, do what married, ethnicity is he talking about? That you should get married. And if you don't get married, there's something wrong with you. So if you've got a girlfriend and you've been with her for five years mm -hmm. and you say to someone, we're getting married, they go, oh, that's great. You know, they don't go, why? You're happy. Why would you get married? Like, everything's going fine. Why would you put yourself through that? Why would you run that risk? If you say to someone, we've been together five years, and we've decided we're not going to get married. We're going to move in together, but we're not going to get married. Ooh, what's wrong? You have intimacy issues? What's your problem? Meanwhile, 56% end in divorce. It's, it's literally... That's the legal definition of negligence. <laughs> it's a negligent behavior. The way you define negligence in law school is when... What you lose by not doing something is not the marriage; right? is the people choosing is lower than the risk of harm. It's what's called a BPL analysis. So the God, burden the of not doing though, a thing, not the people, is lower I than the likelihood, it. the probability of harm. <laughs> so BPL is so burden, probability, and loss. <laughs> marriage is an inherently negligent activity. It's like owning a lion. Like it, 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 you're, because the people are not knowledgeable or educated right, about the real bad. reasons of no, getting married. Because why? Because, and, and I'm, I would say something. I've been doing this for over twenty years, and I I still get misty eyed at weddings. Like I still really there's something in me that goes like, well maybe it'll Mr. work out. Mister Majestic. <laughs> It's the majestic what? Go ahead, T. Go ahead, T. No, go no, ahead, T. finish what you said, CJ. It's no. the majestic what? It's just a, again, people. People love the the what I call the pomp and circumstance of it, the ceremony, pageantry the pageantry of it. That's the part that makes you misty eyed and all, because it's like wow, somebody's. But at the end of the day, like I've been saying for the longest, marriage is a job. Relationships said, are a job. Right, period. But, right, but we just talk. We focusing specifically on marriage. Marriage is a job, and mm -hmm. the thing about it is. People don't understand that you have to put work into it. Correct. And at the end of the day, it's something to to me that should not be a moniker or should not be a, a, a banner of your relationship. If it's something you want to do, 
fine. But it should not be that your relationship passed or failed because you got married. To me, that's where it all falls if it goes wrong. Okay, so like I was saying, do, I'm curious as to what ethnic group he's referencing. He's, talk, he's talking about all marriage. That's why he just was saying the numbers because it, I don't know when this came out, but that number is higher now. It's like 74% of marriages end in divorce so that that was obviously old and that's marriage across the board that's not just one ethnicity it's in america they're they, they literally that's the numbers across the and people are getting married for the wrong reasons just to say oh yeah i'm married but how can we we can't quantify that i just think i just think that first of all to me marriage shouldn't be f until death do us part that to me is a trap because over the years you're going to change it should be a five or ten year interval where you go when well, you know how people renew their vows right your marriage license should have a termination and at the end of it you can say all right listen we got 60 days your, your marriage should have a renewal date you know, that's like, what I'm saying. like you got to renew your license you got think about it. every other license in every other license you got a hunting license your uh if you're a driver's contractor, license driver's li every other license you have to renew and when you get in a relationship and the two of you change and just because you don't like the change you want to just up and just leave so then that basically but, you're saying it right there you're not even up for the change no no that, you're not even up for the that, for, does, for the that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do that you could just say all right listen we both change let's sit down and talk about x y and z and then if you want to continue it you keep going now hey. now remember marriage is really just a contract government. a governmental contract i don't think it has anything to do with love no. it ain't got nothing to do with love no. it's all got it's gonna do with money because you gotta you get you gotta pay to get a marriage license and you gotta pay to get divorced. and then you gotta pay to get, you gotta pay, to, pay pay for a divorce now just until recently they doing away with no, no fault, fault divorces. divorces right because a lot a lot of and i don't want to harp on women but i'm a harp on woman they the ones a that lot of women was opting out of, of their marriage because of no fault divorce 80 percent of women are the, the file for divorce first so what does that tell you? And we're not talking about a specific a specific ethnicity. That's just women across the board. So what does that tell you? Who's the ones that's really not sticking in it? The numbers don't lie. Men lie, numbers lie. I mean, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. So it's like at the end of the day, what is this really being done for? And I've been saying that for the longest. I'm a principal person. Back in the day, they didn't allow, they didn't allow us to get married. We had to jump the broom. The, if you ever seen the movie Loving, they didn't let that that man and the woman, they were interracial. They did not want that black man marrying that white woman. That was done for a certain reason. They didn't want black people to gain the wealth of the white people that they married. So there's different reasons why they didn't even want us to do this. And for some reason, we feel like it's it, we failed if we didn't match whatever these, uh, again, these oppressors created for us. So to me, it's like, like I said before, if in, the, in, in my eyes, if I'm with my woman and me and my lady... And we're divine, divinely connected. connected and we are one and we are moving in the light of God and all of the other stuff. Nobody can tell me that that's not my wife. You can't tell me that. That's if true. I say that's my wife, you can't say, oh, well, because it's you don't all got no piece of paper. Commitment. I don't care what no piece but, of paper says. Now, let me let me ask you. Why do you have to go through the government to, to get to get to get married? I don't you know, why, it's why funny. can't you just. We, okay, we just, listen, we just babe, had this I, I discussion. Change, change your did name. Or did we you change your name. We literally just had this discussion. You know what I mean? I can change all of my insurance information to you. Um, my medical, I can put you on, on my, my med It seems like. However, when it comes to that. No, however, wait a minute. Wait about a minute. Me? Go ahead, say what you about no, no, no. I was about to say, no, because you're talking about the insurance and all that yeah, type yeah. stuff. You really can't do that you legally. Could do, you could do no, common no, 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 law. No, 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 no. In the state of Pennsylvania, you could do common no, law. No, but right. I know that. But when it comes to, I guess, for, for me, from the HR perspective, when you want to try to put someone on your benefits, you yeah. got to have that marriage license. Not not in the state of Pennsylvania. You can have common law. If you could prove that you've been with this person and y'all and y'all live in the same uh, dwelling, you can, there's a common law partnership that they so call it. Was it like, like seven, seven, eight years? I think it's, but but uh, I thought they did with common law. No. So uh, there's no marriage. common. There's a thing called common law partnership. When I worked for Blue Cross, this was a thing. So you could prove that you've been living with this person. Y'all pay yeah. bills together, yada, yada, yada. You could put them on your insurance. I'm, but again, and I said, why can't you do that? Why do you have to go and get a marriage license? Be greenwashed, and they feel like that they have to live up to society standards of what they tell them. Like, how's a person going to tell you what your relationship is? We live up to these standards. Think about it. It happens in beauty. It happens in culture. It happens in status. If you don't make over a hundred thousand dollars, you're broken. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's the same stuff that we just fall into these cultural norms that 
people that are not even a part of our culture have created along yep. with it and just don't even question it it's, it's yeah. stupid to me because again i know i know a person personally i know a woman who was married to this man they were good for years she got married she started power tripping on her on her wife title she was with her uh husband for a couple years he passed away she thinking okay cool he passed away now i'm a i'm, I'm going to reap the benefits of this marriage well he had this thing called the last will and testament and when she went to the lawyer the estate planner lawyer to find out what she was getting mm -hmm. the lawyer said to her i'm i'm sorry for your loss of your husband mr so-and-so um i'm reading his last will and testament here and it says that he has left you the house and she's like okay cool That's and it. And the lawyer's just like, the uh, just says here, the house. She's like, so what about the money, the this and the that? Oh, he left that to someone else. And because in his will and testament, it says he, uh, he did not want to share or disclose. or disclose who he's leaving that to. I can't give you that information. So she thought that because she was married. And I hear people say this all the time. Oh, it's about security. It's about security. Cure, and guess what? She walked Ish. away. Nothing. Because marriage does not secure anything. Your last will and testament is what they have to go by. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, when everybody yeah. say that, I, I be like, that's not true. So again, why are we doing this? I mean, like I said, I th I know in in my case, my marriage only lasted like forty five days, but it was a hassle just getting to yeah. And then there was you got to pay for the marriage certificate, then I had to pay for the demand the damn divorce. I'm like, God damn. Yep. You know what I mean? So it it felt like a money grab. And then in New Jersey, because where I got married in New Jersey, they want to send you to classes. Yeah. What? what kind and of that's places? even what, more money. What, counseling? Some type yeah. of counseling? Yeah. Oh. They make more it's, money. I'm like, yo, you know what? Man, forget all that. Think about it. Couple, I'm pretty sure y'all together, y'all salaries right. is higher than just you. We get more money off of you. Yep. Yes, yeah, so we want to keep yep. that money. Anyway, we need you to drop a like, drop a comment. Comment, subscribe. Tell us what you think. Anyway, we ain't got video no more. Four. We got a dude that drank a random Indian drink. And this is how things went for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's this Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. That's how I drank an Indian street drink and got the worst food poisoning of my life. Wow, what on earth is going on in here? Kidna Ekvis. Ek, ek. Here we go. Wow. It's a green First funky one, juice. Did you that top. shit? Whoa. Oh, God. Oh. This is my life. It almost burns this. your throat when you go when you drink it. And why is he still drinking uh, it? Got, well, it's fine. That's the herpes going yeah. down his throat. I got deli belly. Mmm. <laughs> That's the herpes going down his throat, as yes. CJ would say. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Super Ray. If y'all don't follow Super Ray on IG, Please go follow Super Ray on <laughs> yeah. IG. He has hundreds of these videos where you see these people, and it's no disrespect to my Indian family. I got some Indian friends I really, really bang with, but he got videos where you see these people, they cooking up stuff with their hands. Oh, the God. one guy, he's making some kind of like flatbread tortilla, whatever. He making it with his bare feet. And nobody so feet them, tortilla. Them street, them street vendors in India, I mean, I don't know what the stuff be. Again, shout out to Super Ray. He called it Goop Scoop because that's what it looks <laughs> yeah. like. It just be a whole all, bunch like, of stuff. I don't like the fact that, that that lemon was just open and out like that. And then you I don't squeezing like, it with your hand. I don't like the fact that he had a tree branch uh, wrapped around a tr uh, cup glued to a tree branch and he stuck it down in the. <laughs> that wait, wait, wait. You know what? You know, listen, let me tell you all a story, man. I, I used to go to uh, Punta Cana all the time, which is in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. And they got this thing called Punta Cana's Revenge. If you don't know what that is, oh my God, listen, man, you will have the shits. Oh, God. For the, your whole entire trip will be nothing but you going from the bedroom so to why the bathroom. So why even drink it? Do not drink the water. No. And do not drink any steam. That, if everyone got a bottle or cap to it, listen, man, don't don't drink it. And my buddy, I'm going to tell you, my buddy, we was by the pool, me and my boy, my boy Chris, we had the pool. I hope he ain't and my boy, he, he fucked around and he drank one of those drinks. <laughs> 
And I swear to God, every five minutes he was grabbing his ass. Oh my God. <laughs> he squeezing his butt cheeks together, <laughs> going to the bathroom. Every five minutes. Yo, we went to the room, we checked him. We like, yo, bro, you all right? This boy butt ass naked, <laughs> laying in the bed. <laughs> Ubu said, I saw a kid do the same thing with Thunderbird and Kool-Aid. I don't want no parts of no Thunderbird and Kool-Aid. Hey, y'all better leave these Indian drinks alone. Why would you set yourself up? That's, that's, why. that's, that's why. a herpes going down your that's throat. Why. Going overseas. If you're not from there, do not drink no special nothing. If you don't know what it is, don't drink it. When don't I was drink it. It's uh, soda. It's over here now. It's called Fanta. But at the time when I was over there, Fanta was not here. So when I got there, I said, what the hell is Fanta? They like, oh, soda. No, y'all keep that. <laughs> nah, dude, Sprite? Okay, give me the Sprite. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not drinking. I don't know what Fanta is. No, uh-uh. Y'all got to leave these. Again, stop trying to be exotic. If you African-American, just be African-American. If you... Caucasian, just be Caucasian. If you've Who's never you tried know? any of these delicacies, through again, I have Indian friends. Well, your body has to has to build right. Up you to gotta that. you gotta start slow. You can't just be over there in the trenches, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't expect the Indian person to come over here eat no chitlins. They they inside's gonna be fried. It just is what it is. Y'all gotta chill out. <laughs> it's too exotic. Have, have you ever been out of the country? Yes, I have, but I don't drink, so I mean that's not an issue for me. And what about like? Eating something like that. Did you drink the water? So, oh, no, where, where did you go? So when I go out of the country, I yeah. pretty much just eat on a resort, whatever that's on a resort. Sure. Eat anything off the resort. Uh, you want to grab some mandingos? <laughs> no, I've never. Some Jamaican weed? <laughs> no, I don't smoke. Oh, damn. So what you just be on um, vacation praying? <laughs> she probably on that Mormon vacation. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I go away just to get away from the city. With your uh, girlfriend, right? What, what's your girlfriend name? The one that was Kiana. in the chat. Kiana. Yeah, yeah I'm going to email her ass. <laughs> we need stories on you. We need her to tell the tale. Look. We, you, are, you, you know how they talk about them girls' trips, what they be doing, the friends. Got a meeting in the ladies' room. She'll be back real soon. Nope. I'm not joining in on that one. Mile High Club? Nah. Mile High Club? Mm. Mm. That means she ain't mm. answering. <laughs> you, do you know what the Mile High Club is? Club is. Of course. I've never been. I'm trying I've to get a murder my heart, girl, but <laughs> I'm trying to get a yeah. one day pass or something. Look, I told you I'm an angel. Oh my God. So let's move to the next mm -hmm. video. Lucifer was an angel too. <laughs> uh, video number five. We got a man. We have a viral video from a man that says that says nothing good has come from gangster rap. This thing has mm. been See, blowing that, up the uh, internet, uh, man. Yeah, man. Okay. This joint has been blowing the internet. Let's it's go. Oh, let's go. See, I had a lot of comments when I said that shit about Jay Z. Oh my God, and mm -hmm. hip hop all together, but it's true. You name one goddamn good thing that's come out of the hip hop culture. I'll wait. Is it the enormous amount of uh, people that have gone to prison trying what? to live that bullshit lifestyle y'all rap about? Mm. How many people gone to prison? How many people been murdered? How many people in the streets trying to live that fucking bullshit lifestyle y'all brag about and talk about like it's something special? First like of all, so he cool act like that. Up that, that uh, uh, what's what that, is uh, the hip hop culture done for the culture in general? Sir. It ain't done nothing for it. You are not it ain't done a goddamn out. thing. It's made a lot of people dead. How do you know? <laughs> How many rappers Every year, catch a bullet. How do that you fucking what? Lifestyle. A person don't have to be a damn rapper to catch a bullet. Shit. Matter of fact, most people be glad when the hip hop gangster rap culture is gone. They will be happy. And the way y'all are killing each other, it won't take long at all. Sir. Mm. Most of y'all to be in fucking prison. Most of you going to go to prison. Drug dealing, gang banging. Murders for hire. There is not one redeeming quality that comes out of gangster rap. It is a destructive force that has taught you to disrespect women, disrespect yourselves. They ain't Shut goddamn good things come out of that up. fucking rap game. They ain't nothing good that's come out of it. Just a lot of murdering, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of lives ruined, a lot of the inner city destroyed. Exactly. You let know let, what? let let, let me so, say this whole take one heavy metal. Heavy metal. But, you know, now, now, a couple of things that I want to agree and disagree with. For one, 
not, it's not about the gangster rap. That right. part I, I disagree because we would listen to like N.W.A. You know what I mean? Back in the day, Ed. This was way before that drill rap and all that. I mean, because yeah, I mean, it was e- Easy E N.W.A. It was that hardcore rap, mm-hmm. and we wasn't out committing crimes, shooting up the police, killing cops, or nothing like that, because we knew better. We knew better. So it's not about the music. Cause if your child knows right from wrong, who has morality, ain't no music going to affect them. But it's these yeah, children of the same, today. Hold it's on, not hold just on, more on. so the music. Yeah. It's a combination of because, things. It's music. Because they, they let these. But these, also these hold up the differences. And these lines influence them. It used to be filtered. It's not filtered anymore. Remember, it used to have different versions. What used to be played on the actual radio was filtered and it was censored. But then if you bought, bought this, what was but, called but, the but CD, knew. it was uncensored. But everybody couldn't buy the actual seat. But now, hold up. And then you got everything on YouTube and social media. But then again, you have all these other dumbass people. Yeah, but, but we still know. I'm telling you, it's this generation. They, they're dumb, dumb as a motherfucker. Listen, uh, they're uh, dumb. Uh, uh, well, let me go back. But heavy metal is, is not that much much of a difference. Each other. No, 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 no. So what so makes you think that they not? Heavy metal, because heavy metal is just like a bunch of roaring and guitars. They don't really say nothing. Yeah, but the, the, what about the, 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 the lyrics and some of that? That stuff is, is like really like deep. Have you ever actually listened to some yeah, of those words? Yeah, but have they you talk met, about death and stuff. But they're but, not but, killing each other. Well, let's kind of take it back because um, what kind of music were uh, the people that were lynching people back in the 20s and the 30s? What music was they listening to? Because I'm pretty sure music was out then mm-hmm. and they were lynching black people and minorities and all. So can we blame the music that they were listening to for the reason why they burnt down Tulsa, I, I, Oklahoma? I, I, I don't think so, it's, it's just about music. No, That's no what I'm, I'm not. Saying. I'm it's not saying just... that. I'm just saying I'm just trying to make a point to his point because he's just trying to say like, oh, because it is gangster rap. This is why people are killing each other. Well, again, y'all were lynching black people. You burned down black towns and stuff like that. So obviously the music that y'all was listening to was doing that that's number one number two uh hillbilly willie whoever he is who makes him qualified to 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 ask this question because if you don't listen to rap music if you haven't been in the areas where rap music is being made and things of that nature that's an easy Mm -hmm. name that's like again when i listen to country music they talking about uh, beating my wife (laughs) over with a truck hang my way by this tree again the the (laughs) reason he's heated on me the reason why our culture <laughs> created the term wife beater is because all every time we saw a white woman getting beat by a white undershirt beater, that's where it came from. So again, w- what about that? That's number one. Number two, again, the music, like you said, it's all about influence. I grew yeah. up, I grew up listening to all, all everything, Biggie, Tupac, Nah, all of it. And I, I never did a crime in my life. So at the end of the day, okay. it's a very small minority. This is the one thing that I hate about uh, social media and I hate about um, pop culture. Because what happens is the people that control the media will tell you that this this genre of music has the children out of hand and all that. I just seen a stat. Uh, that last the narrative. Year, and it's not just show social media. It's everything. On, it's on. the news too. Last year. The, the amount of murders that we had in Philadelphia, right? The people that did the murders equated to like 1.3% of the population. So the people that are doing the, the killings in this city only equate to 1.3% of the population. So that lets you know that that's a very, very small part of our population. But if you watch the news or if you they watch social it, media, yep. it make it seem like it's lawlessness where you can't even go outside yeah, we, to your car because yeah. you're going to get killed. You, you got to out your window. Right, you gonna get yeah, right, just to go get some waters yeah. out your car. So at the end of the day, again, I'm, <laughs> not, letting, I'm not letting this man tell me like, what he... Just like, like se- negativity sells. So yeah. all that is selling and, and that, that boosts and increase well, their ratings and that's what they want. We, we, we fall into it. I, we'll uh, we'll allow him to say something and be, oh yeah, I agree with you. No, you don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you what it is. It, these record labels, the record labels are owned by prisons, period. So they are brainwashing our young adults, man. And they're falling for the trap. They're falling for the trap, period, point blank. This bullshit, this stuff, First of all, this bullshit will never chart. This music here, it'll never chart. There's no uh, sustainability to it. The music is just straight trash, man. It is. Um, it is. But 
again for me it's a it's a little deeper for me because it's 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 more of a socioeconomic issue again when you got you know mamas who who got to work all day to provide for their kids and things of that nature yeah you're gonna be a kid if you uh, uh, remember the term back in the 90s latchkey kid mm -hmm. right. latchkey kids because mom had to work and dad was at work or he might not have been there or whatever so yep. you was home alone now the difference is is that these kids just have more access we didn't have access because there was no internet they have access so that's the only that, that's one of the biggest problems a lot of kids are not it, being combination of because things. They, so they, have, they have access and then the parenting is totally different but some it's of the parents many, can't be so many of these parents that's trying to be their friends so who, who failed who? What generation failed? Oh, the generation the, failed because it's like okay, yeah. Well, where did they go? Children. Because you got to think about it. The older, the older generation, the ones that's kind of sort of like dying off now, compared which is, to which is my generation. No, the ones no, older your than parents you. Generation. Your my parents' gen generation, know, yeah. right? I don't know because I got a lot of friends that's dying off. Like, mm. like, oh, because cancer. Because of I'm not cancer, drugs. So the generation under the baby boomers. No, it's the baby boomers, and then it's the like I don't know what they are. I guess they would be Generation X, because the baby boomers is like the seventies to right. like the uh, to the like mid fifties now. Or uh, okay, so no, the, no, the baby boomers is like from the from the, the baby boomers. I believe is my mother's generation. Something yeah, with those boomers. with those baby boomers. I don't know because it was so many of them, or I guess they felt like they was left out or whatever. But however, you had their parents that raised them but then they got so strict with us then it, they left us alone so it was like yeah. okay yeah you know i raised you to a certain extent to a certain point and now here so you are like, and i'm not going to discipline yourself. my children i'm not going to beat my children the way my mother or my, or my father beat me or, or discipline me and that would they say that's the reason why these these children are so lawless I don't know because I don't it's, it's hard to say because everybody was raised a little different but it yeah. seemed like those baby boomers their way of living was different than their than their parents generation so it was like what well, a baby 64 so if you think about it the youngest baby boomer is what well These, again that would be my mother they, they would be turning yeah. 60 this year because my mother is about is about 70 and so the baby generation. boomers from 46 is so about 79 to 60 is the baby boomers yeah. i don't know there's something to about Anyway, let's slide to the next video. Mm. Let's go. Drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Video number six. We got a woman that says cheating is just an illusion. Okay. Nobody belongs to anybody. Come on now. I mean, let's see what she said. Right yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. It's this yeah. podcast. Aww. Let's go. It's an unpopular opinion, but this is this number she fine. right here. Realizing that no one can cheat on you. Okay. It's about understanding that you have no possession over nobody. Come on, Nobody somebody. belongs to you. And once you realize this, this will simply set you free. We as humans be choosing bondage. We be choosing slavery because we don't realize that we have a choice of our own freedom and our own awareness of realizing that, dang, man, Nobody belongs to me, so let me set them free. But a lot of people don't want to hear this. I know, man. This is when you uh. gotta stop taking things so personal. Mm. Stop Tell feeling it, bro. like you have ownership. And it ain't just about that. Somebody it's not else about control. Being and someone else's life decisions. If they want to do what they want to do, it has nothing to do with you. They did not cheat on you. They cheated on themselves. Okay, I see you lost. They it. have no loyalty to themselves. Stop making everything about you. This is them. This is their character, and they just exposed it to you. You can either deal with it, cry about saying. it, pout about it, or move on with it. It's up to you, boo. Okay, okay, so I, okay, I get it. Yeah. First of all, who wants to start first? First of all, okay. if you if, if, if the person has a commitment to you, that is in, in their cheating, it's not about bondage, it's about okay, you just cheated on our commitment. If I'm committed to you when you're supposed to be committed to me, how is that? How am I putting you into bondage when that was your choice? What the hell? You go ahead, bro. <laughs> I get parts of what she's saying. I mean, at, at the end of the day, the whole free spirit you know fly like a bird 
type of uh, yeah, ideology. Around her neck, no. That's her thing, but I mean, at the end of the day, I, I I don't know how cheating is an illusion. I guess I I understand what she's saying, like. You don't own anybody. Or yeah. Trying to own anybody. I, but I don't think she's meaning like on a physical plane. I think she's meaning like from a metaphysical standpoint, like they, you don't own them. So the, why why even think that they would be, they wouldn't cheat on you? I think she's trying to come from that standpoint. Like if you think about it, like, like I'm the type of person where I don't expect anybody to do anything for me. So when they do, it's just a bonus. I can, you can never let me down because I'm never thinking you're going to do anything for me in the first place. So, Basically, like, she just lives life without any expectations at any point. I mean, in you don't terms put of why on a pedestal, she's they like, I, I don't, I don't think you won't cheat on me. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tripping. So if it happens, yeah, but that's it's not on a pedestal. But if you're yeah. in a relationship with somebody, and it's like, okay, the, the expectation is going to be some kind of expectation. But, but, you but, but why does it have to be? She's just listen. saying that she she doesn't expect it. So the fact that if you don't do it, then it's fine. But if you do do it. I wasn't expecting. So are let, let you me. really committed to that person? Because if that's the way you're thinking, you're thinking, okay, you know what? You, you might as well just do what you want to do. Why even be in a relationship? No, but she didn't say that. That wasn't her word. She said. Listen, I, I always say, and this is why I threw the marriage part in. If I'm not married to you. I'm single. I'm single. And you're single. So there, there is no bonding commitment. So you don't believe in committed relationships other than marriage? Okay. No, I do. Wait a minute, so you so just got your single. No, no. But I mean it, it's up to the person, like, yo, this is this is the person I want to be with, so I'm going to commit myself. But if that person cheats, I ain't committed to you. Now, but guess what? Our whole dynamic change. Yeah, true. Because now now I'm looking at you just, oh, it's it's just a knockoff thing. So why even be with the person still? Why not just leave them alone? Knockoff thing. But are you? Okay, you're men, saying it's just a knockoff thing. Sleep with However, the woman. but does the woman still think that you're still in a relationship? I could care less. Oh, what she think? Oh, no, I have shots. <laughs> no, I mean that's the truth. Because if you cheat on me, and I still, I'm still with you, man. I could care less what you think. Because my phone calls thereafter is guess what? It's the other way around. What if we? What if you cheat? Why would I cheat? I'm just asking. If I commit myself, I'm I'm not I'm not cheating. Now, back in the day, I was young. I've cheated, but as as a man get older, he put all that bullshit aside. This this is the woman. Do I'm they? Woman. Some guys. Nah, I'm not, I, I ain't say all still men playing them games because there there are there are some men who I think the older you get, the the more mature. But that's not the truth. God brings some sage out with. <laughs> Dang, it's like this. She got to burn that one. Them <laughs> demons away. Yeah, burn. I think, in my opinion, my opinion. A man who got who has something to do, who has things to do, don't have time for that bullshit cheating. If he want to be with you, look, baby, listen, I need a woman by my side, but I got to go out here. I got to get this money. I got to make sure my legacy is intact. I got to make sure my inheritance is intact. I got to make sure my, my, my children are good. So what about those situations where, quote unquote, something just happens? I don't believe that shit. It happened. I believe that's that's some bullshit talk. Listen, how as a person, how? Listen, I'm like yeah. you didn't answer personal with me. Go ahead. You go. It can be in a relationship, a long term relationship, right? He's with this woman, lives with this woman, or whatever the case may be, and then he just so happens to stumble across somebody that has great energy, happened. and then something just happens, and then the two of them, you know, end up being physical at some point. My dick not gonna fall up in you because I'm not putting myself in that that type of position. But it happens. Ooh, or, or, no, no, I'm not putting myself in that. Type. It happens because it happens. because. He he or she didn't look for that shit to happen. That is if, true. If a woman says, oh, come on, after work, let's go out and let, let's get a couple of drinks. No. That is I true. know what's going to happen. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, let's go out and get a couple of drinks. True. You call your man, I'm going to call my woman, and all four of us are going to go out and get some drinks. Myself in that type. You a, put yourself in that type of position, that's the shit that happens. There's a lot of. Hold on, real quick, uh, real quick. Uh, no, no, no. As a man, a man has to, he, he got to know what the fuck is going on. He has to know his surroundings at all times. No, I agree. Nope. I'm not doing it. No. So, oh, you want me so to hire this man? In, in, oh. in the situation when that happens, <laughs> you saying basically he's not a man? They got no. nothing to do with it. No. Yeah, no. Nah, he can still be a man. Okay. It's just self-discipline. Like, yeah. I can honestly say there's been a lot of situations in my past that I could have avoided. And because of a, a certain situation that I have with, within me, I couldn't resist the temptation. I was just like, oh my God, let me just see. 
and then I get there and I'm like, oh shucks. I knew I shouldn't have put myself in this position. <laughs> yeah, but like, now no. I'm past the point of no return. I'm like, oh, and me. How again, was that the point of no return where you could just leave? I, because I get you're, you're <laughs> or not even that. I honestly tell you, I, I again, people have been addicted to crack. People have been addicted to meth, alcohol. I, when I tell you I was addicted to that, like it really ran my life. It's the reason why I got cars. It's the reason why I hung out in the places I hung out because I was really addicted to that. So I had no self discipline. I you, you I know you've had this happen to you. Where in your life you look back and you be like, you think about a woman and you be like, why the hell did I even? Why did she Man. even cross my threshold? Man. That's because you know you didn't have no self. You just wanted to do that, and it just she was the warm body. And you know, you know what? It always it always come across your mind when you land in the bed. And you look over at her like, and it's that. Post, it's called post nut clarity. Why, After why you didn't do what I did. That post nut clarity, and you look over and say, "Why am I right here? Yeah, what is the point of me? I, I'm here for no I, absolute I, reason." And I think as a, as a real man, you don't put yourself in those nope, type yeah. those type positions. Because look, look, a man knows when a woman has his best interest and a woman has his worst interest. And most of these goddamn females, these Jezebels out here now today, they be like, oh, you happily married? Let me see if I can fuck that up. Mm -hmm. If as long as you know that in the back of your mind, yeah. when she like, oh, come on, let's go get some drinks after work. Hell no, you Jezebel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't put myself in that yeah, position. You, you gotta be something. <laughs> it's the other way around too. But again, the thing about but, it. Is, wait a minute, let, let, me, let me add this real quick, bro. Let me, let me tell you something. When, when, I, when I was out there doing the things that I did, mm -hmm. you know how many women I turned? Turned what? Like, oh, you happily married? And and guess where they at? Bro. Getting at? bent over. Bro. Mm. Getting it because. Um, listen. listen. I'm saying right now, you, you most of these young women, I ain't going to say older women, because most of these young women, you get you give them an air to lean on, or I'm sorry, shoulder to lean on and air to. to they get weak. You know, Self discipline goes both ways. No, but that. as a man, you got you to gotta discipline. And so do women. No, but listen, again, at the end of the day, it's different because. Men How is it different? It's a little bit different. Men don't have sex in the manner that women do. So to men, it's, it's just, just a physical, physical activity right. that gives us some dopamine in the brain that makes us, us women, feel good. Most mental. women don't smash just like for sport. We do. And so it's like you have to have more discipline because, again, you if you get to that point, you've, you've emotionally connected sport. with that woman for somehow, something. Something you did emotionally connect with her. So you got to have the self-discipline to be like, no. Nah, I ain't going. If she asked me to leave her, I'm not leaving or I'm not going nowhere intimate with her one on one. It's like those situations. Myself, uh, there's situations now that I have that's like that. Oh, you, oh, listen. Oh, I heard you was in the uh, real estate. Um, Let's go. <laughs> let's go get some dinner and chop. No, I'm not doing that. I know what that can lead to. Listen, I can. When she's sitting there saying that, oh, what's she thinking? Like, oh, wait a minute. Talk to you over Zoom. Estate? We can go to yeah, Zoom. Yeah, you, let me get a little bit more information. Let yeah. me see what I can get out of him. Yeah, Sometimes you yeah. gotta just you gotta have that discipline. And again, I I literally just got it like 2018. I struggled with it. The first time I'm like, okay, I got a little better with my choices now. I wasn't I wasn't hitting Booger Wolf 2007. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we had that. He ever dealt with is not watching this. And, uh, listen. Because I would sit there like, wait a minute, I know his ass. Hey, I've hit a couple of toothless. Don't man. DM me because if it's you and you don't be upset. <laughs> you hit a couple Booger Wolves before, so now you like, your decision making get better, but it's still like, damn, like, I want to do this, but. I got Shorty back home. I, I, there's no reason that I need to do this. Now, again, if Shorty ain't giving you that that uh, that WAP, then you need to have that conversation with her and say, listen, your WAP is not whopping. I need you to WAP a little bit more. And then if then if that's not it, you go on your separate ways. But, like, you got to have that self-discipline. And I did. Don't look I at me. I struggle with it. So hey, he said, your wop ain't whopping. He ain't talking to me. Damn. <laughs> Look, I, I know but, what I got over here. Sorry, let me, I, I retract. Once a man reaches, <laughs> now I'm, I know a couple of men who are still in their childhood phase, out there cheating and still them, but they just do, do what they do. Immaturity. Immaturity. Yes. You know what I mean? But me, myself, I got, I got a good woman. I'm, yo, I'm good. I'm good. Listen. But if I see you out there doing some shit you ain't supposed to be doing, then guess what? Who's Satan coming out? God listen, man. Man. listen. Satan ain't out. nothing to be played with. Shout boy. out, my, shout out, my man. Ooh, because this is how it happened. You get the booger wolf at the last call. 
Last call for alcohol. <laughs> you've been, you been shooting blanks all hey, day. Ooh. And then you like, leave ooh. him alone. He tell uh, me no, he's that. telling the <laughs> truth. That's how it be. You could have been shooting your shot all night, hitting bricks. Bricks. And then you hear that last call. So you, hop, you walk up to the bar and you see Medusa over there. You like. Because that's, that's when it. they turn that light on. Man. What's that is? Put it, put it in my mouth. She she might look like a gargoyle, but she is built like a dance. Like, let's see. I'm going to just take this one for the team. Look, been there before, guy. We always took one for the team. Oh, man. This is your podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be closing this show out right closing here, y'all. Out. We appreciate y'all. Listen, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank you all for the comments. We like to interact no, with the do. people yes, out there. So yes, we sir. appreciate it. See them views going up and up and up. So next week, goddammit. We love y'all. Deuces, we out. <laughs>